Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a little haul. Um, I have no self-control. I'm always shopping and some of these things were like an impulse buy. Now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, why did I even buy this? But it's okay, if we don't like anything, we can just return it. I haven't tried anything on yet, so we're gonna see together if we like the stuff I got. The first thing I have is this shirt right here. I thought it was actually a dress, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's just a really long shirt. I don't know how I'm gonna make this work, but I will most likely I'll just throw some leggings on or wait till it gets cold out. I think it'd be cute with like sheer stockings and some boots and like a little cardigan. I think this would be really nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna try it on real quick. So here's this shirt. Dress, I don't know what you want to call it. I thought it was going to be a lot shorter than this, but um, it's an okay length. I still probably wouldn't wear it just as a dress just because I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, um, I don't know how I'm going to wear this yet, but I definitely think it is super cute. And this was $18. There was a black one as well that I was going to get, but I did prefer the pink one a lot more. It's really cute. And I did get 40% off everything. Forever 21 had a sale going on where it was 40% off if you used a code. It was like a back to school code. I'm not going back to school, but I still used it. Next thing I got is these pants right here. They're super cute. Let me back up a little bit. They're a little bit more cropped. Um, I don't really like getting super long pants because I'm short and they end up fitting me really long anyways. I have a lot of pants like this that I've never worn just because they're super long and I've been too lazy to get them altered. Hopefully they fit because I'm usually between a small and a medium at Forever 21 and I kind of have to guess by like what the model's wearing and stuff to see what my size is going to be. Okay, and yes, these are so cute. I wish you could see them. They fit me a little bit above the ankle, so that's nice. They're really comfy and flowy. And yeah, they're just a really cute pant. The only thing I'm missing is the pockets. I really like when pants like this have pockets, but these ones don't, which kind of sucks. But other than that, they're super cute. They're super comfy. They're very airy, which I love. So moving on, I got something that I usually wouldn't wear. I was feeling a little risky when I got this um, dress, but basically it's like a tight dress. Um, off the shoulder. It's really cute. I never buy dresses like this because I'm shaped like a stick and These just make me look super skinny and like I have no shape whatsoever But I thought we'd give it a try I was thinking if I don't really love how it looks on me I can always tie a flannel around my waist and I feel like I'll like it a lot better like that. There's this dress Let's hope it fits So here's the dress and this is what I was talking about when it comes to these kind of dresses I don't really have much of a waist and so these kind of dresses really make me feel self-conscious honestly but i think with a flannel around the waist it'll be super cute speaking of flannels i did get one this is the one i got it's really oversized and i love the pattern on it i love flannels in the fall so i am going to try this on around my waist to see how it looks with this dress i actually do like this dress a little bit better with the flannel wrapped around my waist I feel like with a pair of sneakers it would be so cute this outfit and yeah you could probably even put it on yeah no i wouldn't wear it like this but this is a really cute flannel i'd probably wear this with a tank top underneath and some ripped jeans and some sneakers moving on i got this jumpsuit hopefully you can see it and it's open in the back but you can tie it it's kind of hard to see but once i put it on you guys will see better this one cost me $29.99, but like I said, I did have 40% off, so I really did get a lot of things for super cheap. And this is what this one looks like. I don't know if I like this one yet. Um, I did size up because online it said it ran a little bit small, so I got it in a medium. I'm usually a small. I just feel like it fits me kind of weird in this section. I have a really short torso, so I just feel like it's sitting weird in this area. This seam, for me, it would need to be up a little bit higher just so it can cinch my waist. It's sitting in a really awkward spot that's not really doing much for my figure. But other than that, it's really cute. Um, I just feel like I look like a sack of potatoes in it. So we're probably going to return this one. Another thing is that this um, jumper, the straps are like way too long for me. I have like a lot of room up here. That's probably because I got a medium instead of a small. But around the waist, it would have been way too tight if I would have gotten a small. So yeah, Forever 21 sizing can be really weird sometimes. That's why I like to check the reviews to see if they run small or big. This one definitely ran small. Moving on, I got this dress right here. I love cheetah print, snake print. 
zebra print i like any kind of animal print i think it's so cute and i love that it's back in style i think this would be really cute with like a short sleeve white shirt underneath and in the winter i think it'd be so cute with like maybe a turtleneck underneath and some stockings oh and before i forget this one was 25 dollars and I love this dress. This one fits me perfect lengthwise, and it's actually not too low cut up here, which was what I was worried about. It fits perfectly. I love this dress so much. Um, I did get this one in a medium just because it looked so short on the model. I mean, I'm pretty short, but this thing barely covered her butt in the picture, so I wanted to be safe in sizing up. And I think it was actually a really good decision. I can't imagine how short this would have been if I would have gotten it in a small. It probably would have been like that. And that's just a little bit too short for me. This is perfect. I can wear it to work. It fits right above the knee. And yeah, it's just super cute. I have one more dress I want to try on. I wanted to avoid getting a lot of dresses just because I know the fall is coming. But I think we still have like a good month of warm weather. So I just got some just because I need clothes for now and for work and stuff. I work at a hair salon, so I do ruin a lot of my clothes. The next dress is this one right here, and this one is so cute. It's kind of hard to show you guys what it looks like because it's a longer dress, so I'm just going to try it on. So I love this dress. It's an olive green color, and it is pretty long, but it gets a little bit shorter on the sides. I'm going to stand up on my stool so you guys can see it. So as you can see, it's a little bit shorter on the sides. And it's long in the front it fits right above my ankles which i love i don't love maxi dresses that are super long because then i just trip over them and they're just a pain to walk in but this one is so comfortable the material is so nice the only thing is you probably are going to want to wear a strapless bra with this and i hate wearing strapless bras i don't know if you can see but the back has like a little opening right here which is also a cute little detail before I forget, this dress was $28. So I wanted to get a couple of casual tops because like I was saying earlier, I do work at a hair salon and I do ruin a lot of my clothes. Um, I get hair color on everything and it drives me nuts. I've ruined so many nice clothing pieces. So yeah, I just like to buy a lot of basic t-shirts that if I ruin them, they're not worth a lot and it won't hurt me as much if I do get them stained or dirty. This is the first one I got and i thought this one would be so cute like tied up in a little knot in the front or tucked into a pair of pants with like a flannel over top of it and some sneakers so yeah i'm just gonna try this one on and oh before i forget i did get this one in a size small and the price was 9.99 and i obviously wouldn't wear it with sweatpants i mean you could but um i just have sweats on right now since i'm trying things on this is what this top looks like and I can actually get closer. So it looks like this. I really like the font. Um, I love the color. I got another one just because you can never have too many t-shirts. This one looks like this. This one's a little bit more oversized. And I love oversized tees. And this one was $17.99. I've actually seen this design a lot um, in different stores. So I thought I'd get it because I think Forever 21 is like the cheapest you would get a shirt like this. I feel like when you go to Urban and other stores like that, they're a lot more expensive. So here's this one. As you can see, it is a little bit bigger. I feel like this would look really cute with a pair of leather leggings since it is a little bit oversized. The next two shirts are the same shirt but in different colors. Um, so it looks like this. I really just love the neckline of this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like a square neck and these kind of shirts i feel like fit me so nicely i don't know what it is about them i just really like how they look it's kind of hard to tell but once i try it on you'll see a little bit better and this one was 7.99 so i got this one super cheap probably like four three four bucks after the 40 percent off all right so here's this shirt i really like it the only thing is that the sleeves are like a little bit long um on this one as well like I said, I have a super short torso, so I kind of have to deal with this with a lot of the shirts I have, but it's really not that bad. I really like this one. It fits really nice and snug. I got it in a small. So here's the same shirt, but in white or like a beige color. And I love this one. I do wish the sleeves came in a little bit more like right here. I feel like it would look a lot better, but still super cute. Next thing I got was definitely an impulse buy. Um, I love anything neon. So I just basically got this because of that. 
this is just like a basic um, crew neck. Is that what you would call this? Crew neck sweater. Is it a crew neck? I don't know. Um, it's just like a sweater. Nothing fancy, but I do like things like this for the winter. That's why I got this one, just because I do like to have a lot of basics. It makes my life a lot easier when it comes to picking out outfits. And here's this sweater, sweatshirt, whatever you want to call it. I think it is so cute. I actually love this. They had it in purple as well. And I love things like this because they're comfy, but still really cute. And you can see me from three miles away just in case I get lost. And this sweater was $19.99. Last but not least, I got this top, which is so cute. It looks like this. And this is the one I was the most concerned about because first of all, remember I was telling you guys that I'm not good with V-necks and this is like a super deep V-neck and it's cropped and yeah and this one was $17.99 I got it in a size small surprisingly I actually love this top it's a little wrinkly I definitely have to iron it but it fits so good it's definitely very open right here I have to safety pin it so it can like stay together but it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be and it's just so cute with a cute pair of high-waisted pants I think this would really look nice not with these gray sweatpants, obviously. But I love this shirt. I'm so glad I bought it. I can't find my other earrings, so let's just ignore that right now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was a pretty successful clothing haul. I only have to return one thing, and it was that jumpsuit that just fit me really weird. I love watching try-on hauls and just hauls in general. They're like my favorite kind of video to watch. So hopefully you guys did like this video. And yeah, I really don't know what else to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!